we don't ever want to compromise our family's care in a healthcare environment by products that we're using on our cattle. The change is coming on Canadian farms. <sighs> Cuts fester, infections spread, bacteria run rampant, and doctors have nothing to stop it. That is the nightmare scenario posed by superbugs, and many suspect the cause. The widespread use of antibiotics. An estimated 80% of it happens in our agriculture. Health Canada recently moved to restrict one controversial use of drugs on farms, and the CBC's Kelly Crow gave those new rules a hard look. is proud of his healthy herd of cattle but sometimes he needs to use antibiotics so if I give it to a calf that's hurting for respiratory or digestive issues the calf will bounce up quicker he wants to keep his animals healthy but he also worries about the health of his family and the risk of antibiotic resistant superbugs we don't ever want to compromise our family's care in a healthcare environment by products that we're using on our cattle farmers have added antibiotics to animal feed to speed up growth, but that use is being quietly phased out. The news is contained in a small notice to stakeholders on Health Canada's website. The change involves the removal of growth promotion and or production claims of medically important antimicrobial drugs. It's a voluntary move initiated by the animal drug industry to match a similar move in the U.S. The membership agreed that that was a responsible thing to do and certainly would help to align both Canada and the U.S., which are major trading partners. John Prescott is a veterinary microbiologist who has been lobbying Ottawa for years to stop the use of antibiotics for growth promotion. It's totally inappropriate that they should be used, that medically important antibiotics should be used for growth promotion. So, I mean, I really welcome these changes. But farmers will still be able to give antibiotics to animals that are not sick as a way to prevent disease. So it's possible the change won't significantly reduce the amount of drugs being used on farms. The change is expected to increase the number of products that require prescriptions before being added to feed. Back on the farm, Dan Ferguson says that could be expensive. The worry with some farmers is that um, if there's more involvement on the vet on farm because of the regulations, then the cost would be something we wouldn't be able to bear. Scientists now know that drug use in animals is causing antibiotic resistant infections in humans. The resistance anywhere is resistance everywhere. So everybody using antibiotics has got to try to find ways to reduce their use to control the emergence of, of resistance. Come on, Ruby. Prescott yeah. says the changes are an important first step, but he says Canada still needs a coordinated national program to monitor antibiotic use in agriculture. Kelly Crow, CBC News, Toronto.